So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. Last night, I was out here blowing leaves until dark. And it's about 10 a.m. right now. But last night, there was not a leaf to be seen on the ground. It was, it was spotless. They're coming down quick, Melissa. Yeah, this oak tree was like, oh yeah, watch this. Wait till tomorrow when it rains. But yeah. right now, I'm going to head down to the sawmill okay. and saw some lumber. All right, and I've noticed the colors on the trees have gone from vibrant yellows and reds and like a peachy orange to all burnt oranges. Like now yep. all the oaks are turning, everything else is either dropped or... It's been... over.
So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It is Saturday morning and I'm down here at the sawmill. And to tell you the truth, I thought I was gonna be napping at this time. See, I plan my naps out days, sometimes even weeks in advance. It all depends on the weather. Uh, the last time I had a really good nap during the day, it was a Saturday afternoon. This was a couple months ago and we had a rain day. I mean, poured down rain all day and Hunter was kind of in a chill mood, kind of relaxed. And Melissa and I, we put a couple movies on Netflix or something and held down the couch. And uh, it was a pretty nice day. But it was supposed to rain today, and it didn't, which is a good thing. Now, tomorrow, I think it's a sure thing, 100%. So I figured I'd come down here and saw some lumber and make some money. And I'll explain how. So as you know, I'm running the uh, Woodmiser LT50 with the Yanmore diesel on it and uh, this thing's fast it's really fast and I'm getting on to it pretty good now uh, the problem is dealing with the lumber when it comes off the mill and getting it stacked and stickered and all that but I have come up with an agreement with a buddy of mine and I think it's going to work out pretty well for both of us my buddy uh, Chris Martin you have seen him in our videos before Martin Woodworking uh, he has a eye dry kiln and he also has a big flattener for big slabs for like tabletops. And he dries lumber for other people and he flattens slabs, things like that. But he's got some room coming up in the kiln here in the near future. And what we decided to do, I've got the sawmill, I've got the lumber, he's got the kiln, he's got the flattener. So we worked a deal out together where, where we are gonna start marketing some kiln dried lumber uh, ourselves and split the profits. I think it should work out pretty good. What I have here so far on the trailer, I've got just a little bit of nice four quarter red oak on the bottom, uh, some eight quarter cherry, some six quarter cherry. Next up, we're going to do another cherry log and it will be live edge. It's a big one, pretty good size. That one right there beside the tractor, it's probably 23 inches in diameter, maybe 24. We'll do some eight quarter live edge out of that. And then I've got some walnut logs down below. We're gonna do some live edge on that and just keep loading up the trailer. What I'll do, he has a, uh, a decent sized Bobcat tractor with forks. So I'll probably go up a couple more inches on this lift and then put these runners across and do two or three lifts. And then uh, first of the week, I'll run this load out to Chris's place. We may let it air dry for a little bit, stack and sticker it out there before he puts it in the kiln. That's his end of things. He knows what he's doing. So we'll figure it out. This was what was left of that cherry log. And this is the center, the pith. It will crack and check. So I just cut these down, you know, for stringers or runners, whatever you want to call them. Blocking, cribbing, that's what I use that stuff for. And if I don't use it for that, it'll go to firewood. So that's what I've been working on this morning. Now the hunt man, he's up at the house. He's ready to go somewhere. So I think I'm going to run him out for a bit. And then this afternoon, I think I'm going to head out to the mini cabin. It's probably 60 degrees right now. Rain coming in tomorrow. It's going to cool way down for next week. And the rut is on. So I think it'd be a good afternoon and evening to sit in a mini cabin. And then uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon or Monday, we'll come back down here to the sawmill and saw some more of this lumber up. All right, the hunt man and I got back a little bit ago. And I'm gonna head out to the mini cabin and just sit till dark. Very overcast today, and the, uh, the wind's starting to pick up just a little bit. Maybe things will calm down some. We may even see something on the way out.
story about uh, you know driving a side by side or a four wheeler out in the woods and you could park this right in the middle of this field and the deer wouldn't care now if you stood out there in the middle of the field they would definitely care saw that last video I extended this out towards the uh, mini cabin as you can see I definitely did not skimp on the seed here you have to plant kind of twice as much as you need because the uh, turkeys will eat half of it Okay, we'll get settled in here and uh, see what happens. But the deer, they always come mostly from two different directions. Up that valley and up over that hill as well. Occasionally, I see them over there. I'm glad I got that uh, opened up. There was a bunch of downed trees there yesterday and you couldn't really see anything over there so i just saw three doe and they were running and i thought for sure There'd be a buck chasing them. I don't know what spooked them. They came from over that way. Went down there. There's a little buck down in that valley there. I'm gonna try something here. 